Okay, classic plane fitting edge detection is also available with the PCG engine. So if you needed to find walls, roof intersections, intersections between two walls and the ground, um, you can do it now, no problem, with the PCG engine. You can also create UCSs from defined planes, and I'm going to demonstrate this. So let me turn on all my points, and I think what I'll do is I'll go ahead and get rid of these sections because I'm going to focus on just the whole cloud and zoom in on this area. And I'm going to go over to my modeling tools and choose to fit a plane by selecting a section of points. So let's say we start with an area here. Selecting that section of points and if we want to give it a name we can call it the ground. Okay, So it fits the ground plane for us. Now maybe you want to repeat this command, select another section of points, and how about along this wall? Say OK. And if we want to have a intersection line to know where the building and the ground meet, we can define it by selecting each one of these planes. Now you see the intersection line automatically drawn in to detect between the ground and the wall. If we want to take this a step further, let's define one more plane along this wall. Okay, and now let's say we want to find the intersection point between three planes. So first I'm going to change the point mode so it's easier for you all to see. I'm going to make it look like an X marks the spot point. And then I'm going to choose intersection point between three planes. And I'm going to use the new section, uh, selection cycling tool to choose each one of my planes. Cubic plane, cubic plane. Okay, we've got our three planes and hitting enter. Now you see the X marks the spot, and that's the intersection point between the three planes, the ground and the two walls. Very nice. Now some people prefer to view the planes as extruded to each other, or extended to each other, and you can do that as well. You simply select each plane. Let me use my selection cycling for this. and you see the planes extended to one another. So that's personal preference, but also very nice. Okay, back to the slides. Now this feature, polygon and line fitting, I'm very excited to show with you because it's really showing some potential uh, from the development team with Qubit. Um, really an excellent feature they've added in, polygon fitting. And you can now auto-fit lines to clouds in three easy steps. Uh, step one is to make a slice like we did before when we made this single slice. And step two is to draw a rough sketch around that slice. And um, from there, basically you press finish and you watch the magic happen. You watch the line work that you've drawn very roughly conform to the cloud. And it's uh, quite a nice tool. And I'd like to demonstrate it for you now. So I'm just going to close out this example. I believe we're finished with it now. And open up a new drawing. And I'd like to bring a point cloud in. We'll choose this file. Okay, now we're looking from the top view at a nice tower, and I'm going to need to change it into a color mode. Let me go to my view, wireframe, okay, nice looking tower here. And let's do step one, like you said in the slides, let's make a slice. We'll just make it through the XY again. 
And perhaps we'll choose an area to slice from here to here. Okay. So here's our slice through the through the tower. And what I want to do is go ahead and choose my polygon fitting routine. So this is fit polygon. And as I choose it, it wants to work in the top view. So it asks me if we can switch there. I say yes. OK, and maybe you want to thin out this slice a little bit. OK. And now I'm going to start to give myself a rough sketch. I'll start from here and just start drawing around arbitrarily giving it some vertices to work with and then close. So obviously if you drew like this you probably will not be a designer but what we're going to do is click finish and let it conform to the cloud and you can see an excellent fitting has taken place from that horrible line I drew and this is polygon fitting. It's fun to play with and I would encourage you to try it out. So what is next? Let's talk about cylinder and piping. 